I am Miss Emily at the Rogers Public Library and welcome to Homeschool Explorers. This new year we are talking about a brand new topic. This year we are talking about Greek mythology and this is a very interesting kind of topic um, where we'll be able to learn about interesting stories and um, vocabulary words that you're going to see everywhere whenever you read and also it's just going to be um, fun to learn about a different culture in a different time period. So today we are talking about the beginning. So we're doing an overview of what is Greek mythology and why should I care? As well as talking about the beginnings of the world within Greek mythology. So here is a little introduction sheet. Um, you can follow along or just listen as I read. I'll show you the picture up here in case you don't have it. So that is in Athens, Greece. That is kind of where this whole thing is centered and this was built a very long time ago over 2,000 years ago they built this um, building and all the buildings around it and we will learn more about that this year so what even is a myth you may have heard this word before or maybe not um, and I will go ahead and tell you what a myth is a myth is a story about the early history of people these stories are told to explain the world and often have magical beings. Greek mythology tells the stories of ancient Greek gods and goddesses. These stories were told in Greece beginning in 1800 BC and they are still influential today. I am sure you have heard about a lot of the characters that we are going to be talking about this year. So this is a long time ago though, why should you care? Well, myths are full of adventures and exciting stories. Um, people told these stories to each other um, and it kind of built their society around these interesting stories. So all of the buildings and stuff is influenced by the stories too. And a lot of our modern world is influenced by Greek mythology. So here are some words that actually come from Greek mythology that you may have heard before. So for example, Nike, that is actually a Greek goddess. And we will learn more about her this year too. Um, dove, so you know like um, dove bodies wash, that also comes from Greek mythology. Pandora, so maybe you have listened to music on Pandora, well that is actually a um, story in Greek mythology that we will talk about next month. Um, so there's a ton of words like this and whenever we hear the stories and learn through the stories we will be able to keep um, them in our memory better and maybe it can give us more context. Um, which means a way to understand things that are happening um, in the books we read, in the movies we watch, and all kinds of stuff. So it can be very helpful. And this year I hope to help you understand your world a little bit better as we learn about the past. So our craft is going to be related to the beginning of the world. So our character this week, every week we're going to have a character and some vocabulary words. So our character this week is... Gaia, and you have your own trading card for her. She is the goddess of Earth and was the first to appear out of chaos at the beginning of time. So that's pretty cool. So she is most best known for creating the world in their stories. So our craft today is going to be a world and it's got some beads on the bottom and it is happy to be here. So um, you are going to make that by cutting out your four Earths folding them in half and gluing them all together so that they make a little globe. Um, one of your ends of your string has a knot in it and that's the side you will put at the top. And then at the bottom, you can put beads on in whatever kind of order to make it just a beaded earth craft. I hope you are so excited to learn about Greek mythology this year and all the interesting words and um, history that we can learn with it too. Thanks for watching. Bye!